Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, we are going to be doing part two of why I shoot .177 caliber slugs. Um, so, basically, in the last video, I wasn't able to add this or add this video to there because I can only make 15 minute videos. So, I wasn't able to fit all the stuff I wanted to on the other video. So, I had to make a part two, which this is the part two. So, basically, in today's video, we are going to be comparing slugs. In a 50 mile an hour wind, we are going to be comparing the 0 0.177, 22, and 25 caliber, caliber slugs. Um, we're going to be doing a five shot group out to 35 yards, and then we are, we will be moving the target to um, 100 yards and seeing what the slugs can do at 100 yards. Um, like I said, it is going to be a 15 mile an hour wind, so definitely a good time to see how each slug bucks bucks the wind and see what the um, drop on the slugs is so just let me give you a few numbers of the slugs so we got the 0.177 caliber 15 grains at 1040 to 1080 feet per second uh, we got the 22 caliber 25 grain nsa slugs at around 900 to 950 we got the 25 caliber nsa slugs uh 33 grains at 1040 feet per second so the 22 are coming out just a little bit um, slower than the rest of the other slugs. So they are going to be dropping more than the other slugs. So I just want to say that right now. Um, on the video, I do adjust two MOA higher um, so, the slugs, so the slugs can hit the target. Uh, I did not adjust for the windage because this, um, this is the purpose of the video to see how they buck the wind. So yeah. Um, I guess we can just get started on there on the video um i am going to say i'm not going to be putting all the footage of me shooting because that would make the video that much longer so yeah let's get into the video um and yeah So, here are the slugs. Uh, 33 grains and 15 grains. And here are the guns. Point one six seven caliber, 22. 25 um, okay 25 caliber uh, just to get it zero in it was hitting below one mil one mil dot it's got it pretty good now let's move to 100 yards after so yeah
right here at Brooks. Uh, 25, 25, 22, 22, 0 0.177, 0 0.177 caliber. inches and a half, uh, 22 from here to here, uh, we're not even going to measure this, so Drop. Pretty good. Let's see. Uh, what? Four and a half, maybe? Right here? Four, maybe? Three? Uh, four. This. This. Okay, let's talk about the results that I got from my testing. We're going to we're going to start with the 25 caliber slugs first. So, the 25 caliber slugs are heavier and they were moving pretty fast. Um, they dropped 7 inches and were pushed 4 and a half inches to the right with a 50 mile an hour wind. So, they will be in first place. The, we're not going to be looking at the group, we're just going to be looking at the average uh, pushed by the wind and dropped so they would be in first place the second place would have to go to the 0.177 caliber slugs um, the reason being is because they're moving at a faster velocity than the 22 um, so they were getting on the target quicker than 22 caliber slugs were uh, they they dropped 12 inches and were also pushed like uh, four and a half inches to the right as well as the 25 caliber slugs so the reason the 22 caliber slugs drop more than the 0.177 and 22 is because they were going at a slower velocity. They were being pushed at 900 feet per second or 950. So the other two had about 80 feet per second of an advantage over the 22 caliber slugs. So that is the reason why the 22 caliber caliber slugs were dropping more. So as you can see. The little 0.117 caliber slugs still bucked the wind pretty well. Um, they drop more because they have a smaller BC than the 25 caliber slugs. Um, and they're lighter, so they would be able to be pushed more by the wind. The wind did play a big factor on the test. Um, before, the 0.117 caliber slugs would only drop 10 inches, and now they were dropping 12, so two more inches was affected by the wind um let's see so i am going to be making the same video as this one but hopefully next video will be just a little bit better than this one um i am maybe also using a 22 lr just to see what is the difference between an air gun and a powder burner so yeah um as you can see the 0.177 caliber slugs did did do really well they had the best group from all the other air guns and that's just because i've put a lot of work into the hats and nova in 0.177 caliber if you guys are familiar with the channel that is one of the guns i've been doing most of my videos with so yeah this is going to be it for this video today um i do have other videos that are should be coming out 
um, as soon as this one drops, the other videos will just go on, um, will follow. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time and have a good day. See ya.